Farmers feed the world. I really believe that this area, this state, this basin, grows the best crops in the world. You know, you, you drive down the road and you see our corn and you see our wheat and you see our potatoes and anything we grow here just, just grows. It's an amazing place. The Columbia Basin of Washington has the highest per acre yield of anywhere in the world. Washington State is the best place in the world to grow potatoes because we have the best conditions than anybody else. Potatoes are the number four crop in the state behind apples, dairy, and wheat. If you go back before the Potato Commission, Washington industry was an insignificant part of the national potato picture. So one of the main issues they had were potatoes were getting to their end markets and they were not sellable anymore. They're being rejected, the growers were losing money, they wanted WSU to help them solve that problem. You know, when the Potato Commission was formed, there was really two things that growers couldn't do by themselves. One was promoting and marketing the crop. And then the other was research. You know, no farm could hire a pathologist, an entomologist, a physiologist, but collectively they could if they pulled all their money together. And so that was really the, kind of the original intent of the commission. And so immediately started working with WSU. The good Lord blessed us with perfect growing conditions here. We needed to figure out how to make it all work. Along with the sunshine, we can provide water through pivot irrigation. That perfect combination of growing days and heat units allows the potato industry to produce the highest yields per acre across the world. We can grow about 50% more potatoes on an acre of ground here in Washington State than they can do in Idaho, and we're doing that with fewer inputs. It makes us a very sustainable player throughout the country as well as the world, because literally, there's no better place to grow potatoes. Our yields are that high. Due to the Columbia Basin Irrigation Project, we have a sustainable source of clean water that runs constantly. We're not necessarily burdened by significant drought years. Here in the Columbia Basin particularly, we're a desert. We only get about seven inches of rainfall a year, which is not nearly enough to be able to grow a potato crop. So we rely on, on irrigation water. You can deliver different amounts of water using a center pivot based on what that portion of the field needs. And I'll take out my iPhone and I'll check see where the water levels are, you know, uh, four inches, 10 inches, 20 inches. And this is new technology. This has only been out for roughly about a year and a half. You know, it was through research that the center pivots came about. It was through research that the Denver Diker was invented and the big harvesters and the big truck and everything that we have. Really, we only have about a hundred potato farming entities in the state. But those just hundred farms essentially are responsible for over 23,000 jobs and over $4.6 billion in economic activity just for potatoes. Pretty much any potato product you can imagine is made here in the Northwest. Probably about a 60% chance that no matter what restaurant you're in, whether it's a Red Robin or whether it's McDonald's, whether it's Burger King, uh, about a 60% chance that those french fries or potato products came from Washington State. And if you're in Japan at a McDonald's or a fast food place, probably about a 100% chance it came from Washington State. The potato industry is bigger than other crops, partly because of all the value-added stuff that comes with it. You're not just harvesting a crop and selling it, you're making it into all kinds of things and selling those things. Across the globe, we're getting more competitive and every dollar counts. So we have to be able to produce our potatoes as cheaply as possible to stay profitable. And that's what research is, is all about. The Washington State growers take a lot of pride in ownership for multi-generational farms. When you have that sort of personal vested interest in your community and your chosen profession, you take a lot of pride in your contributions. Our growers pay four cents for every hundred pounds of potatoes that they grow, and we pool those four cents together, and roughly it's about a three and a half million dollar budget. And we spend roughly about a million dollars a year on, on research of that 3.5 million. Our research portfolio has essentially allowed the industry in this state to remain competitive. I'm more profitable, and uh, the whole region is more profitable because of research. You go to anywhere else in the country and you talk to farmers, you know, lots of times you ask them, well, why are you doing it that way? Well, it's because my dad, that's the way he always did it. Farmers here in Washington State don't necessarily take that attitude. 
they take what they learn from WSU, they take what they learn from the research and apply it on their farms. They are always looking for the next great thing, the next piece of research, the next new technology. And I think that's what really distinguishes Washington State potato production than anywhere else in the country is that partnership that our growers have in utilizing the research. And WSU is a tremendous partner in that. If it wasn't for WSU, they would not be able to do what they do. There's nobody else doing that work. If you want to get a good return to the state or to an industry, Washington State University is a heck of an investment.